I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to do a brow tutorial which is unusual for me because I'm very brow challenged. In fact, I don't have tails on the ends of my brows, but I am growing them hopefully with a product called, what is it, Rapid Brow. And this is supposedly supposed to take 60 days and I'm 30 days in and I really do feel like I'm starting to get small little hairs growing out here. And so if you're interested in learning more about if this product works to help us regrow our brows, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that will just send you an email notification in about 30 days when I post this video. Okay, the reason for this video I am so excited about is that I purchased the kit, the Bomb Ass Brow Kit, by Desi Perkins and I am so surprised that I love this kit and I really do love this kit first the term bomb ass brows I saw that in Ulta several times when I was in there and I thought oh it's for the young girls you know we we more grown-up women don't say bomb ass brows and that just didn't seem like it was for me and I thought it would just help you create that kind of Instagram brow which is definitely not my look but I was so amazed kind of blown away by this kit and I would have to be blown away by this to actually buy it and not return it because the kit is $59. And during this video, I will be showing you what I like about this kit, which is pretty much everything about it. And so let me move in a little closer and I'll show you how this works. Okay, here I am up close and personal. And here's another look at the Bomb Ass Brows kit. And it comes with a wonderful little instruction book which has complete instructions in case you're not watching Desi's video. And I did watch her video and it was wonderful. And it comes with all of these brow products. The first is this foolproof brow powder. Love this one. I'll show you this in just a minute. Here is a brow gel that works just wonderfully. Here is a liquid brow gel. Here is a wonderful little brow color pencil. And here is a brow highlighter for just under the brows to highlight the brow bone area. And here is a wonderful little spoolie and brush, and it is a great brush. And so let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to use the spoolie to kind of brush my brows down a little bit to where I can see the top line. And so I'll see where I need to fill in. Then I'm going to take this foolproof brow powder, and here it is. Look at that. Absolutely love that because it shows you the placement of this brow powder. Of course, the light goes on the inside and the darker goes on the tail. And what I'll do is I'll take this little brow brush, and it is a great brow brush. Absolutely love it. And we're going to go in just at the front and make little wispies right along the front. I don't use this so much to create that Instagram brow because that is not my thing, but I do use it to cover up the gray in my brow. Now let's go in on that tail color and we'll just use it to make little tiny strokes there. And we're going to go in on that tail and make a little more of a tail. See, we're just extending that tail just the slightest little bit. And I really do not have arched brows, so I'm not going to end up getting much of an arched look, maybe a little bit, now let's go ahead and take the spoolie and brush that back up again, back into place, and brush the outside little hairs down on that. So as you can see, it's already starting to look much better. Wipe the brush off, then we're going to go in on the other side, again with the light color on the inside, right here just to darken up that area. I've got some good gray brows in there, so this brow color does really help. Then we're going to go in on the outside again and just follow that little tail, actually create a little tail, although I am starting to get little wispy baby hairs growing out there, and I'm hoping in the next 30 days they'll turn into full-fledged brow hairs. I'll let you know how that goes. We're going to try to get a little bit of an arch here just a little bit because I'm kind of thin along the top. I'll mix these two colors together right there. Use some of that lighter color again on the front. Now we're going to go ahead and use the spoolie to brush that back into place.
And for me, those are very good brows already. Now let's go ahead and strengthen that look. And I'm going to take this little brow pencil. And this is a very wispy ended little pencil. There it is. It looks very much like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Very, very nice and compact. And I'm just going to go over some of the areas where I put the powder just to give it another set of color so it doesn't wear off during the day. And we're just going to use tiny, tiny, tiny little wisp strokes. Very tiny. There we go, a little bit on the inside there. Do the other side. Especially in this tail area, just do little wispy strokes. A lot of us have sort of thyroid issues. In, in fact, I have an enlarged nodule on my thyroid right now that I'm trying to take care of with diet, and I'll let you know how that goes down the road. Let's do a few more little wispies in through here. Try to give myself a little bit of an arch. Very good. This also has a spoolie, which is very helpful. Now, let's go in and use the brow highlighter. I don't often use this, but they do provide it. And so we'll see if we can't just strengthen the look. I don't want to do too much. Just a little bit right under where that arch would be, if one had an arch, <laughs> which I don't really. Just going to kind of strengthen that a little bit. Then I'm just going to take a little flat brush and go in there and softly smudge that out so it's not super obvious. Now that's how the brows look. That's the finished brow. Now to keep them in place, I'm going to go in with this little 24 hour brow setter and we're just going to put that gently on top. And I have been using this kit for the last couple of weeks and really, really loving it. It is making a difference in my brows. I would set the tails, but they really don't exist. <laughs> so that's the final look of my brows. Well, that was a look at how I applied the Desi Perkins Bomb Ass Brow Kit, and she is right. For me, these are bomb ass brows, and I'm really rather excited about it because I've never had good eyebrows in my entire life, and this kit really gives you everything you need, all of the little pieces, all of the little tools, all in one place with a great instruction book that really walks you through every step of the way. You know, $59 seemed like a lot when I first was looking at this kit and thinking I'm never going to buy that, but when you think about it, $59 for everything you need to create a great brow is really not so much money, and most of these items are full size, except the little gel that I did not use today anyway. Really, really love the results of the Desi Perkins Bomb Ass Brow Kit. I have a link to her tutorial video about this product below and also a link to the product if you'd like to learn more. And if you'd like to see this makeup, which was totally a drugstore makeup, then I'll put that link below too. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in looking and feeling your best in your second half, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I've been using this Language of Letting Go card set by Melody Beatty. Let's go ahead and choose a card. Come on, God, what should we think about for today? Oh, I love this. Enjoying life. Enjoying life. Today, I will do something just for the fun of it. I will find something to do that's just for me. I won't worry about what I should be doing. I will learn how to make myself feel good and enjoy life to the fullest. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card. And in the second half, we really need to be asking ourselves this question almost every day or every day. What can I do to really enjoy my life more? And actually that idea has come into play on my YouTube channel recently because as some of you may know, I've cut down from doing two videos a week to just one at least for a while. My work at work has really heated up. I no longer get Friday afternoons off. And so to have any kind of outside life at all, I really just have the time to do one video a week. And in the future, I know that will change. Someday I hope to retire. And in that case, I'll definitely be doing the two videos a week again. But you know, they always say that the unexamined life is not worth living. And so just for today, I hope you'll examine your life and ask what are the things you really enjoy in your life and how can you do more of them? Take care. See you next time.